Hello Leo, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the energy read and spiritual advice reading for whichever Leo I am reading for during this general reading. Sorry, I'm being pulled into messages right away here. I feel a lot of really exciting, kind of happy-go-lucky, wanting to get out and have fun with others energy at the beginning of June here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Leo I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Leo with clearly defined messages regarding June, June of 2022. Sorry. Gosh. All right. So right off the bat, we're getting a major arcana, and this is the death card. So we have uh, a Leo who may be thinking about someone who has Scorpio in their chart. I'm feeling like there is some deep reflecting going on here at the beginning of June for this Leo. The death card is a time of transformation. It's a time of deep inner reflection and change. And when it shows up as a major arcana energy, spirit is saying we are going to help you uh, to get through some form of transformation here. Now, I'm starting to see in the thoughts position the Knight of Spears energy. Okay, so Spears representing uh, wands, I believe. Yes. So the Knight of Spears is someone who is in the thoughts of this Leo. Could be another fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, like yourself. Someone going very quickly into the direction of you and you contemplating bringing that situation to an end. At the beginning of June or maybe it was at the end of May for this Leo. Now in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we've got the Five of Spears. All right, so this is inner conflict regarding what action steps to take. We have a Leo here who is a bit conflicted, maybe about another fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, thinking about bringing an end to a connection because someone came towards you maybe rather abruptly, or you want to, uh, someone's looking for a fight here. I don't know why this is going on. All right, let me look, let me continue. Wow, we got another major arcana, which is you guys in your element, Leo, with the strength card. So in trying to create transformation, again, I'm feeling deep reflection or spirit is guiding this Leo to say it's time to stop and reflect on what you're creating and with who to kind of slow down and think about what it is uh, that's causing you inner conflict in the area of relationships because this is the relationship sector of the circle spread for spirits giving you the strength to maybe transform and bring an end to uh, wanting to go into a direction and uh, speak something while still confused here about your actions or the actions of another okay so in the actions position we have the page of swords energy okay yes so swords are air sign okay so yeah again um taking action to speak your truth but in a way that is compassionate okay everybody's working on something in their life and i think there's just like too much serious thinking here like there's fun, right? Thinking about going excitedly and having fun. And then it's like, well, that fun ended for a minute. Now I'm conflicted. And, you know, I want to kind of get back together. You know, it's like somebody is like the day to day in the beginning of June is kind of boring this Leo here. Boring them to death is what I just heard. Oh, my goodness. So in the emotional aspects position, we have the Six of Cups energy. This could be a Leo thinking emotionally about connecting with others in an emotionally fulfilling way. Or that's a nudge from spirit saying, look, you know, it's time to come together emotionally and lay down any frustrations, worries, concerns, or a need to kind of speak your truth in a clear way that may come off a little intense. Now, I do feel like we have a Leo here that is thinking about bringing an end to someone who did or will be coming in quickly and unexpectedly, maybe very passionately tied to the past with the Six of Cups in the emotional aspects position. So like, here they come or they already showed up and I'm thinking about this, but I'm conflicted. And I know spirits give me the strength to get to the truth, but in a kind and playful way. 
okay? Not being too intense in the month of June. If you start to feel that energy, it's just the energy that uh, it ebbs and flows, right? It's like fulfilling and playful and then seriousness and then fulfilling and playful and seriousness. So in the subconscious position, Spirit's offering up the major arcana, the lover's card. I am feeling like someone is wanting to communicate a truth with someone uh, maybe tied to the past. And, and, and subconsciously, we got a Leo here who's thinking about passion, but they're conflicted about passion. This person is all over the place. So there's going to be a lot of advice that comes out here in a minute. So we got the strength card. That it's bringing an end to something you're passionate about. If you are conflicted regarding others, it's like kind of slowing down and finding the strength to create um, self-reflection. Instead of going into the direction passionately about something that you're conflicted about, it's about connecting with others in a, an emotionally balanced way here. No matter how passionate you are, it is definitely a time of self-reflection. Oh my gosh. And when I said that, we have in the day-to-day -day aspects position, the major arcana of the hanged man. So someone here is being guided day-to-day -to, -day to wait for signs and synchronicities and just reflect on forward movement. This isn't so much a time of action. It's about finding the strength to think about how we act or react, because this is a major transformation happening here. Look at, they're saying day to day, we're going to help you to kind of sit and observe who and or what you are passionate about and to lay down the five of spears or wands of inner conflict regarding taking some form of action here, right? Because old patterns, behaviors, and cycles uh, could lead us back into old lessons at this time. Um, but in this numerological number six year of 2022, it's about connecting uh, in genuine ways with genuine people in your life and freeing yourself from maybe self-protective tendencies of some sort here. So in the inner strengths position, I see spirit saying we're giving this Leo the strength of the hermit energy to wait again for signs from spirit regarding the journey ahead. Bring an ending to any need to communicate very quickly and briskly, um, but to recognize how strong you are. That you have the strength to really think about things and to move forward uh, and connect, whether it's with someone in the past or others in general, in a way that is uplifting and kind, right? Karma is going to be like good decisions will lead us forward into beautiful new chapters, but we got to let go of what we're conflicted about here. So in a three-card summary with the same Game of Thrones tarot deck, we have the Seven of Coins, researching, contemplating, observing. Now some here may be observing someone who has Virgo in their chart with the Seven of Coins and the Hermit. But yeah, my first feeling was if you are working on something financially, creatively, now's the time. New doorways are going to open in this numerological number six year of success for those who have been working on or towards something that you're very passionate about, some form of creativity will definitely bring the nine of coins energy, which is great financial independence. Ooh, some during the month of June, if this is about career and finance, there could be some unexpected communication coming your way from someone who's maybe a feminine uh, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or um, you're going into a better pain direction here, or you're creating, yes, someone here with the moon energy may be a bit conflicted uh, and are wanting to communicate about home or family with someone who has Pisces in their chart during the month of June with the major arcana of the moon. But again, Spirit's saying, see, it's a karmic time. The Wheel of Fortune can turn everyone's uh, path into a more fortunate direction, a higher, better journey. But we got to let go of uh, what we learned from, right? Do I want to continue and go back and fight that battle? Or do I want to cut away and move forward into a more fortunate and fulfilling direction? Yeah, so some may be thinking about connecting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but you've got the King of Cups energies and the Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true when it comes to kind words and messages. Yeah, because someone here is researching something that's negative. Mm. So Spirit's saying it's time to leave those troubled waters behind. The Six Swords represents worries, fears, concerns negativity 
It's time to go into a new direction. Again, uh, Spirit's trying to bring to your awareness uh, a realization in the area of money and abundance, researching and learning about things in the area of money or things of the material. Maybe just shopping for a little bit uh, will help to take your mind off things in the month of June. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Spirits. See, setting goals and meeting goals makes you this uh, advanced, passionate, motherly energy. Um, and you're recognizing great fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. A happily ever after. Yes, we have the Empress. Mother figure, grandmother figure, and a little bit of heartache here. Now, I'm seeing Earth sign Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and we've got Hermit in the inner strengths position. For some, uh, Spirit's giving you the strength to speak your truth in a kind, fair, and just manner so that you can go into the right direction and bring an end to someone who's kind of coming and going in the month of June. Yeah, free yourself and the rest will follow, right? By the end of June, we've got the Eight of Swords and the Emperor. And I think this is Spirit's making you stronger as you create your empire, right? A beautiful new chapter, new ideas, goals, and intentions will free you from those worries, fears, anxieties, and whatever. Because the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination, right? We are not stuck or trapped. We can go away from what what or who no longer fulfills us emotionally and trust that as we bring old paths full circle here that beautiful new portals are opening up and boom we have the major arcana of the fool so spirit saying absolutely it is time for a new path a new direction uh, to trust that you will receive a lot of attention and recognition because you are celebrating family and friends and you're laying down uh, responses that uh, are tied to old reactions in the past. Okay, now's the time to say, I'm transforming, I'm speaking my truth in a fair and just manner. I'm going to uh, think about what it is I'm passionate about and find the strength to just kind of observe throughout the month of June in a quiet, uh, introspective way. If someone comes towards me quickly and unexpectedly, or I feel like doing so, I'm going to slow the heck down and wait till I have clarity about how to come together in a supportive and kind way. Someone's frustrated. All right, so we have the two of action here. So this is the uh, Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, and this is Spirit's overall description or, uh, yeah, a, or spiritual advice for the month of June of 2022. So the card says, trust in your ability during the month of June to make excellent choices. There is opportunity all around you, Leo, if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creatively. Yes, or in your creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture in June rather than the details, the little details of the moment. You are not alone. Continue to help those around you. The situation that you are experiencing is only temporary. Be patient. Because something new and exciting related, related to career or creativity is going to come to your attention. So what is it that you are uh, excited about? What is it you want to create for yourself in the month of June that is new? Maybe again, just buying new clothes, uh, doing something new. Because there will be an eagerness to learn. And a feeling like you're ready to get going. Although you may be feeling insecure during the month of June, Spirit's advice is do it anyway. Keep working on you. Beautiful new doorways are going to open up and all of this confusion will fall away. All right. So should these messages have resonated for you and or you would like your own personal general spiritual reading feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com i offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month three month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video i am still offering the spring special which is a 15 minute video reading for just 25 dollars if you'd like to give that a try so thank you so very much for your likes your shares, your subscribes, and your donations. Take care and God bless.